Welcome back guys, it's Loy from Run For Adventure bringing you another video today. We said in these troubled times that we were going to try and bring you as much content to keep you entertained as possible, so we're trying to stick to that. And today we're bringing you another 200 mile shoe review. These reviews seem to be going down pretty well on the channel at the moment, so today we are reviewing the Saucony Kinvara 11. Back when we did the initial review on the Kinvara 11, it was one of them shoes so far in 2020 that was a big surprise. I hadn't run in a Convara for about six or seven years, so I really didn't know what to expect. And the way the shoe fitted, felt, performed was a big surprise. The shoe scored really high in that review. If you haven't checked out that initial review, please go and do so. So like I just said, the Convara 11 has been a real pleasing surprise at Run for Adventure. The Convara model is a model of shoe that I have quite a lot of history with. So back in the day, um, the older Convaras used to be my go-to shoes for training and racing and pretty much all my running. So it's a shoe that I know well. What I will say is the new version, the Convara 11, is very, very different from the earlier versions. There's a lot more shoe now, so a lot more sort of padding and cushioning in the upper, in the tongue and around that heel collar. Uh, a lot more cushioning and padding under the foot as well with the Power Run midsole and that Power Run top sole. So for me, uh, I think that's a really positive thing. Yes, the shoe is a bit heavier at 230 grams, but that's still not heavy when it comes to running shoes. So I think it gives you a much plusher ride, especially for your longer training mileage or longer distance racing. So I think it's a more improved all round shoe with the Convara 11. But we've put 200 miles in the shoe, so let's go through the things that have really impressed us. First thing we're gonna discuss is the fit of the Convara 11. From the first time I took it out of the box and put it on my foot, all the way up till now after running 200 miles in it, this shoe has fitted like a glove. I think a lot of that fit comes from the form fit construction of the Saucony shoes in 2020. I had exactly the same feeling in the Peregrine 10 earlier in the year. So that form foot construction seems to fit my foot really well. Also this gusseted tongue, I think that has a massive part to play in it. Very, very well fitted around that mid foot of the tongue. There's quite a lot of padding and cushioning in the tongue, which I don't normally like, but for some reason, it works really well in this shoe. They've got it just right. It's plush, but not over padded. It feels super comfortable across the top of your mid foot, and you feel, again, really dialed in. No lateral movement in the shoe at all really well held and supported in that heel collar as well. So when it comes down to the fit of the Convara 11, I can't fault it, it really has been impressive. The next thing on our long list of likes for the Convara 11 uh, we're gonna talk about is the ride and the ride quality. When you've got this Power Run midsole and it's coupled up with this Power Run top sole, it really does give you a very plush feel underfoot. Considering the Convara's cushioning is quite stripped back and that midsole's not too deep, it is super plush. You know, on your longer, slower recovery runs, the Convara is a lovely place to be. But then when you up the pace and you're doing speed work, tempo work, this shoe turns into a speed machine. All you wanna do is run quicker and quicker in it. But it really makes speed feel pretty easy and very comfortable. So I put a solid 200 miles through the midsole of the Convara, and all I can say is, it is holding up so good. This Power Run midsole and the Power Run Plus top sole together, an awesome combination. This shoe still feels, after 200 miles, like I've just taken it out of the box. It still feels just as comfortable. So I've got to say, I am a massive fan of these compounds from Saucony. What you get from them is a very comfortable ride, a very responsive ride, but a super durable ride. And that is a great combination. Also, um, a couple of other features that I'm really impressed with in the shoe is uh, four mil stack height. I really enjoy a four to six mil stack height in my road shoes. It's a great heel offset. 
Um, not to be too super aggressive on a zero drop, but again, not to feel too heely or too stacked up on the heel. So big fan of that four mil offset on the Convara. And Convara have always carried that across the models of the shoes. Also the weight, yes, it's gone up in weight a little bit in the Convara 11, but again, I think that is nothing but a positive thing. Having a little bit more weight means you get a bit more shoe, you get a bit more cushioning, you get a bit more comfort and plushness. So this shoe really does cross over to all aspects of your running and it has done for me as well. I've done lots of really comfortable, slow sort of recovery type runs in it, which have just been a pleasure to be in. But like I said earlier in the review, when you up the pace in this shoe, it's, it's quite hard to explain, but it really does make it feel easier to run quicker. So a pretty impressive feature in a shoe. So I'm sure you can all tell by now with all the superlatives for the Convari 11, I am a massive fan of this shoe. Um, over the 200 miles, I've grown to love it. And I think it's becoming a, one of my favorite shoes for 2020, that's for sure. I don't know whether any of you avid Run For Adventure viewers have noticed, but I'm actually holding up the left shoe in the review today. Normally, I would always hold up the right. The reason I'm doing that is because the right shoe looks like this. I don't know whether you can see that, but it was something we highlighted in the initial review. Some of the overlays on the shoe after 50 miles had just started to lift and peel away. I wasn't sure whether it'd get any worse, but after 200 miles, um, them overlays have pretty much all fallen off, which is unbelievable. It, it looks terrible, it doesn't look great. I must be honest, it, it really hasn't affected the way the shoes felt or performed. It doesn't feel any different with them overlays off to with them overlays on. I think it is a manufacturing issue, it's not a design fault. If we lift up the other shoe, you'll see there's no overlays peeling, there's no overlays lifting, there's no sign of fatigue or wear on the upper at all. It is holding up super good. So yes, it's a bit of a disappointment, but I think it's more manufacturing. We've got a saying in the UK, I think this was a Friday afternoon shoe when everybody wants to knock off early and they forgot to put some glue on a lot of them overlays and they've just peeled away. The other thing when it comes to the shoe and it's durability again, and it's this exposed um, outsole on the Convara. The Convara's always had an exposed outsole, it's just the way they do it. And I'm sure by now you know I'm not a massive fan of that. I've gone on about it, I'll probably bored you with it. But I think if you just got a little bit of blown rubber on that four foot high wear area, you would get a lot more durability out of this outsole. And it's showing quite a lot of compression through that forefoot. So a little bit of blown rubber on that shoe would make a massive difference. Yep, there has been a few durability issues in the Convara 11, but it really hasn't put me off the shoe at all. Like I said, the overlay is just manufacturing and there's still a fair bit of wear in that outsole to go. What I know is I am gonna carry on running this shoe I am gonna run this shoe into the ground because I really love running in it. And then I'm gonna go out and buy another pair because it's been such a great experience. Also, I've seen the new colorway in the Convara that's coming out June, July, and it looks amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I just drifted off a bit there. Anyway, that's a bit of information about how we felt running 200 miles in the Convara 11, but let's wrap this review up with a quick conclusion. I know it's only the beginning of May, but I honestly feel by the end of the year that the Convara 11 is gonna be one of my highlights for 2020 when it comes to running shoes. I really have enjoyed every step I've done it and I'm gonna do, like I said before, plenty more running in the shoe. So if you're a neutral runner and you're looking for a lighter weight training shoe, something a bit more responsive, say you run and train in the Ghost or the Glycerin or the Ciccone Triumph and you want that shoe and that training shoe that's gonna feel a bit racier and a bit more responsive, then the Convara will definitely tick that box. If you're a runner that wants to get a race shoe, you haven't had a race shoe before, but you don't want to strip everything away and lose all the cushioning and comfort, again, the Ciccone Convara will do that job and do it super comfortable. Still going to be plush, still going to be comfortable, but on race day, this shoe is really quick. It really makes running speed feel easy. So that is another 200 mile shoe review wrapped up at Run for Venture. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys, and you found it useful. If you did, Give us a big thumbs up, it's really appreciated, it really helps the channel out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the Run For Adventure family, we'd love to have you along. Also, comments guys, are you running in the Convara 11? 
How have you found it? Are you in love with the shoe like I am? Or have you run it and really not got on with it? Get them comments down below. Don't forget also to follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook or Strava. Also, go and check out runforadventure.uk, our new website, and check out the merchandise store. We've got a few items uh, on offer for you. We are working super hard to bring you some more Run For Adventure goodies, so keep your eyes open for that one. And last but not least, one more exciting bit of news. We are just hitting you with so much excitement in this shoe review. We are just about to launch a Patreon page. So if you want to support the channel, it would be super appreciated. As always, at Run For Adventure, thanks for watching. And in these difficult times, stay at home, keep your distance, stay safe, but always keep on running. Ma 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 